All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video is another Minecraft one, uh, 1. 1.16 snapshot. There's a few things that are new, and there's a few things that, that I want to go through with you guys today. I am three days late to this snapshot, so please bear with me here. I'm going to just show you guys with everything that's new in this snapshot three days late because there's just a few things that has came out. Actually, I've seen the snapshot a day when it came out checked it out could not find anything new with it and then i had to actually look around to find the new things that were for it so there is a few things that i want to show you guys today in this snapshot so if you guys are down with that let's go so the first thing that is new in this is a few boots there is soul speed now when you guys walk on soul sand it's not very fast you, you know it's not very fast it's like slow and you guys like to jump and stuff like that well there is soul speed so I'm going to take all three of these boots out and I'm going to show you guys the difference between Soul Speed all together. So this is Soul Speed 1 and it's okay. I mean, it still kind of makes you like, it's like, it's still like Soul Speed's, like, it's still Soul Speed. And as you guys can see the little particles, which I think is pretty awesome. I just actually, this, this that, okay, the particles are new to me. I just I found the particles out. This is actually pretty cool. But you guys have particles, and it does actually deteriorate your boots when you walk on soul sand. So we're going to put the soul speed uh, 2 in, and this is soul speed 2. You guys get the same particle, and when you when you jump, it does slow you down a bit. Uh, I noticed that. And when you jump, it's just so just don't jump, and then uh, you guys can uh, run. And, yeah, it also works the same thing with uh, soul soil right here. I put a, a few bits of soul soil right here to show you guys that it work, all of them work with soul soil as well. And here's soul speed three now when you run on this you're going fast all right this is completely completely like you're walking on a different block and i think this is actually pretty cool it's actually going to be helpful say if you're running away from a ghast well when 1.16 comes out well you're running away from ghast and you need to get away from that ghast soul speed is going to be your best friend because you don't want to be blown up soul sand is what gets you to uh be to to blow up by that gas or to die by whatever you're running away from. So soul speed is pretty cool. Uh, I'm actually loving what soul speed is. It's pretty cool. If I go around this thing right here, there's um, a ray right here is netherite gold ore. Nether gold ore. And you guys can find nether gold ore in around the area. There's uh, it's going to spawn. It doesn't spawn as much as what quartz does, but it does spawn around the nether. As you guys can see, you guys will find the gold ore around the nether. And it actually adds to it. So when you guys actually go ahead, you're going to have nether gold ore. You're going to put it inside the furnace. And you should be able to get some regular gold bars by the nether gold ore. It's, it, it, it's just like regular gold ore from the overworld. It's just nether version of what it is all right so there is a few things that are different about soul sand soul sand has uh, new properties you can actually put rails indoors buttons and pressure plates on soul sand now soul sand has new properties it's it's pretty cool if i actually look there is um <laughs> there's a glitch as you guys can see it's like a soul sand like x-ray glitch i i i, I don't know kind of weird but um, yeah, that's probably going to be patched, um, or like really, really quickly. It's gonna, probably going to be patched. But the new things uh, is what's causing the X-ray glitch for the Soul Sand because of the new properties that you can put on uh, rails, pressure plates, and buttons on Soul Sand, and also doors too. So yeah, nice, nice addition to Soul Sand. Uh, I'm actually liking that. Um, that's actually completely something we needed for a long time. Uh, I again soul sand was always I don't know it was uh, it was unuseful you couldn't really do anything with it but now you could build on soul sand and as you guys can see we have four gold bars right here this is a new plant I for completely forgot what it is. it's called twisting vines and as you guys can see I want to break those because I want to show you something but uh, the new plant is called twisting vines uh, I didn't I've never seen the twisting vines before so I'm gonna call it new uh, you can bone meal twisting vines I to be honest, it would be a really cool addition if you can climb up them. It looks like you'd be able to, but you can't climb up twisting vines. Um, but it would be, again, it would be a really cool addition if you can climb up on twisting vines. But at the moment, you can't do it right now. So there's also, you can also bone mill uh, the crimson weeping vines. 
and stuff like that. Such in you can just so the, yeah, these are bone mill. They're bone millable. You can do all that stuff with uh, the twi uh, the twisting vines and the weeping vines. And uh, yeah, they're bone. You can bone mill them now, and that's pretty cool. I guess if you want to go and bone mill uh, weeping and twisting vines. Um, to be honest, I think it'd be uh, an actual addition again to climb up these and an actual reason to bone mill them. I think that would be pretty cool if you can climb up the vines like with like double tapping spacebar in survival, like, almost like when you can fly. But instead, you just walk up to it, and or, or you walk up to it and start. Um, well, it would actually be better if you. Well, actually, hold on. Well, they do make you go down a little slow, but it would still be awesome if you can climb up. And the reason why I say double space and survival is because you wouldn't want to just be walking around them and then keep climbing up. So double space climbing would be awesome. So there is a few things that is also new uh, for in the overworld too. I want to show you guys a few things that you guys can do with a bow if you have a flame on it. So if you have a bow with flame on it, you can go ahead and light campfires now with a bow with flame on it, and it should work out. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know if you want to do that type of stuff. If you want to, if you want to do that type of stuff, I guess you can. It's pretty cool to me, I guess. Um, you can light, uh, you can light so campfires with a flaming bow now. You can also do um, uh, shoot and make bells go off with arrows as well. Something completely, I don't know if you want to use that. I guess it's useful if you guys, I'm not sure if bells have redstone signals, but if they did have redstone signals, or if they do, this might be actually good to use. So there's also a thing with the hoe with Infinity C5. We have targets, we have the warp blocks, we have shroomite, and we have kelp. So if we, are, if we, so if we go into survival, and we go in, wow, okay, so the hoe is becoming probably the most sufficient tool inside of Minecraft. Insane, I, I'm just gonna stay in survival. It's, it's becoming the most efficient tool inside of Minecraft, it's insane. I didn't, it's like, it's gonna be crazy. Make sure you get a hoe with a s s efficiency on it and then you guys can go around around in the village over here if you guys want to trade with the villages as i showed this in the last the last episode of the, uh, the snapshot take a look at but if you guys are looking and you guys really want to trade with the villages just break all these and bam you have in, in a split it's like a split second and it's awesome now i think what would be really useful for the hoe too even though that when you are when you break grass you get some um, seeds every once in a while It'd be pretty cool if you uh, um, gra grab the hoe and you get seeds all the time with the hoe. So you can farm some seeds with the hoe and uh, make some nice wheat out of that. That'd be pretty cool. So there is another thing, and that is with kelp. Kelp is also bone millable too, um, and which this is why I made this thing right here. You, you'd want, want to do that. So if you want to put kelp down, and it's actually useful for these. Apparently, that's how you make an elevator. And bam, easy. And that's apparently how you do that. So, you can make elevator, water elevators, pretty easily with uh, bone milling kelp. And I think it's just a but kelp is, but being able to bone mill kelp is easy. It's it's it makes everything easier to make water water elevators. It's it, I, again, it's it's awesome. It's awesome. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So yeah. So let's uh let's hope you guys find some use into bone milling some kelp. And while that is pretty much it in this snapshot, I don't know if I missed any. If I did, let me know down in the comments below. And when a new snapshot comes out, I will take care of that in the next snapshot. But I'm going to wait for the next snapshot to come out. I am ho hopefully, hopefully there's some new stuff coming, like a lot of new, more new, exciting things besides other than the nether. And um, yeah. I am excited to see what's coming next inside of Minecraft, and I hope you guys are too. And th that is the, the end of the snapshot 20WA or 20W11A. And yeah, hope you guys are staying nice and uh, up, to, to, up to date with this 1.16 update. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.